And a length away, Mandazza climbing over the back of Scheidel. Liberty's Gem with a world perfect run fourth. Then Juton down on the inside. Cool Trade is next. He's starting to sneak off. Pike on Waterman's Bay coming three deep. And then a length and a half to Rock Magic. Last of all five lengths from the leaders. Into the straight now here on the Colonel Reeves. And Scheidel gave smoke over the slip. She'd kicked a length and a half clear. Wobbled off the fence. Mandazza has got the run through though. Here's Liberty's Gem, Waterman's Bay and Rock Magic coming down the outside as well. Scheidel at the hunt. Liberty's Gem joined it. Tackled by Waterman's Bay. Rock Magic. Waterman's Bay. Rock Magic. Rock Magic on the outside. I thought he might have got the bob in. Rock Magic right on the line in a bobbing finish, but it's close. Chris, an amazing performance there. And on a day like this where so many people come to the racing, they can see why it's great to be in ownership. When you get a horse like this, you get a good bunch of people together and you get some success. Yeah, it's a great result for uh, obviously myself, Michael, Dad. Everyone involved and, uh, of course, all the owners because, um, yeah, they've uh, jumped in this horse and uh, he's been a really good horse and it was good to see him. Like, he's, there's been a couple of issues why he hasn't been able to finish off his races sometimes, but today, first up, um, ridden quiet. We thought we were pretty confident to be very hard to beat and uh, luckily the track, uh, they've been able to come from behind today and um, no, very, very happy that he got the bob. The confidence was something that was going to touch on there. Obviously, the market had it a race between Waterman's Bay and Scheidel, but speaking to yourself, Michael, the team was very confident that you had this horse sound and that you could produce that run that we saw then. Yeah, unfortunately, you probably never see his absolute best because uh, a couple of them little issues are just stopping from finishing the race off, like I say, but he always looms up like the winner and, um, yeah, we just saw it first up, ridden, ridden quiet, good ride from Jared, obviously, um, yeah, just put him asleep at the back of the field and timed his run to perfection, so we're very, very happy. You must take a lot of confidence out of this result too, to be neck and neck with a horse like Waterman's Bay, which is a group winner, has gone over to Melbourne and produced over there too, and then to be able to beat it to the line, you take a lot from that. That's what I mean when I say this horse at his best is, is probably like right up there with the, the best winners in Perth. Like you say, it's, um, it's got to be a head and a winter bottom, and um, I think we only had a kilo off it, even though the weights didn't suit us, and he was still able to get the job done. So mm. I know the brothers had a decent bet at the winter bottom. Is it straight to there now and just make sure that this horse is sound for that race? Yeah, it's good that he's got two and a half weeks, so um, he can sort of have a week to get over this and then just have another gallop or two and uh, keep him ticking over, and uh, yeah, hopefully we'll, uh, we'll be there on the day right and ready to go. And standing with you uh, for the race, it was nervous times. You didn't want to be jinxed about the bob, but... Were you quietly confident you'd got there? Oh, I thought he had, mate, but uh, I didn't want to shake your hand until I was 100% sure, so... Mm. Well done, mate. Congratulations on the win. Good on you. Thanks, mate. Mm. We just grabbed Jared Noski as well because he is being swarmed at the moment. Jared, you've got a lot of time for this horse. You've had a lot of success for the owners, and that was one of the better victories for Rock Magic. Yeah, it was probably his best win today. That was um, come from back from the last and um, just covered the field pretty easy. Um, yeah, wrapped with him. We spoke to Chris just then and he's mentioned that soundness is always the issue with this horse and trying to get 100% ride right. and they were pretty confident today. Were you happy with the work leading in? Yeah, I've been watching him work. Um, Ham McCallum's his track rider, he does his track work and he looks like he's been going pretty good. They've all been confident and um, his first up record's good so uh, there's no reason not to think he'd go good today. Exciting times heading to the winter bottom now for this horse. Now what about you on a personal note, I believe a bit of a fall yesterday and a bit sore coming into today so this must make the pain that little bit easier. Yeah, to make sure I got his riding butt. So, um, yeah, feeling better now. Jared, well done, mate. Thank you. Cheers.